Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be showing you how I made it. See how I made it. Definitely keep watching and don't forget to like, subscribe. So guys, uh, we're making pop for my baby. Uh, this is corn. This is half paint bucket of corn. This is one full paint bucket of guinea corn. And this is half paint bucket of millet. So I'm going to be washing this one first and then I'll soak this one overnight. Then the next day, I will soak this. I will wash thoroughly and I will soak this as well. But I will show you the process. So I have a big pot. I'm just going to wash this. You see why you need to wash? See all these dirt. These are dirt. Shut up. All the deaths are out. Like I'm unpicking them. You see how clean this is? It's like I literally unpicked it with that procedure. So, very clean. I'm just going to soak this now for 24 hours. Our corn, this is our guinea corn. This is not our guinea corn. Mm. Mm. So to make it faster, we have to be putting it like this, just to make sure all the sand is out. Then we put it here and do the same thing. The recon is not as clean as this. I don't know what they're doing. So clean. See the amount of sand that is there. So much sand. That is why I do that. Can you see how clean that is? This is the cleanest minute you can ever get. So I got this bucket that day and this is the size of the bucket. Full to the brain. I'm going to be taking this pot along with me. This one is bigger than this one. So let's go and grind it. There's an industrial guy in that close to us, so I just bought a bag of pure water so they don't have to use their water to grind it. But this enables your grains to be so smooth, smoother than your own blender, of course, and which will take more time. I have this big bucket at home and you're going to need it because you're going to be using a lot of water to dissolve your pulp into the bucket and then I already have this net at home but you can get it at the market 
they call it muslim i'll insert the name on the screen and that's basically it you dissolve it till you're done with your pap and then you allow it to rest for like a day so the water can settle so the essence of that net is for it to save all the shaft away from your pap so when you're done with that throw the shaft away and this is our pap so our pap has rested for like a day and you can see the water is above the pap your pap is down and we are just going to drain that water out you keep changing it so i'm just draining the water and that's our pap below and i'm going to divide it into two one will be inside the freezer and the other i will just be changing the water every morning say hi to my baby just always in my video so i've divided it into two this one i'm going to be changing the water every morning and the other i'll just keep it in my fridge so i got the stainless flax for 5200 and it's one liter it's going to be lasted for 24 hours hopefully it does that and it came with a plastic knife and a plastic fork also came with a travel handle where you can just carry it up about and it also came with mini containers where you can put sauces but i don't need it i just need this and it's deep and it also came with two covers this is the first one and then the second one so hopefully here's our delicious pop i just made i used one cup and i added water to it and just to keep stirring till it thickens up and there you go here's our yummy 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 pop